Welcome back to LimQ Plus, everyone. On this channel, I'm 100%ing Breath of the Wild by a bit every day until Tears of the Kingdom comes out, which is today in 110 days. We are about to breach another 10 day barrier, and I'm excited for it. Today, oh, by the way, first of all, you'll see my percentage jumped up to 51.44% because I uninstalled the DLC, because I'm gonna be doing a speedrun that doesn't include the DLC. Um. And even though I have uninstalled the DLC, I still have the DLC outfit on, which is something that some people don't know. For some reason, the outfits, the DLC outfits actually keep, uh, they stay saved, even though you don't have the DLC installed technically. Kind of weird. Anyway, I want to talk about some quote unquote drama going on right now in the community. It's pretty one sided and I'm pretty sure a lot of you watching these videos will agree with me. Actually, maybe not necessarily. Ever since I posted a recent video about me discussing if glitches in speedrunning are cheating or not, where I got uh, different, qu quite a few different opinions, which is obviously uh, respectable. But essentially, if you are familiar with my uh, content and my speedruns, my Twitch channel or my YouTube channel, there's a pretty big chance that you have heard of another player by the name of Player5. In one of my recent videos, I talked about how I was commentating Player 5 speedrun for Games Done Quick, a marathon for charity, um, where Player 5 showed an any percent speedrun very nicely done. It was a great showcase, and a lot of donations came in for a good cause. Uh, Player 5 is not only very talented at video games, but also he's also um, very dedicated. He plays the game almost every single day, day. It's almost basically the only game he really plays, as far as I know, from talking to him. And he loves this game. And recently, Player5 had the idea to show off his consistency. Uh, consistency in this context meaning how consistently he can get good times in Breath of the Wild by trying to beat this game as much as possible in 24 hours. His goal was to beat the game 50 times in 24 hours. This means he had to essentially beat the game in under 30 minutes consistently, but while also staying up for a full day. Now, let me get this, let me explain this to you, okay? So beating Breath of the Wild in under 30 minutes is already incredibly hard. It takes people months and months to get a single run in under 30 minutes. It takes a ton of time and practice I personally needed a long time to get my first sub 30 minute run. These days, my best time is at 26 minutes, which is respectable, but not at the very top. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm definitely feeling better today, but still slightly sick. Um, and it's an incredible feat. Now, player five had to do this feat 50 times. Well, not quite. He could technically have a couple runs that are not quite sub uh, 50, uh, sub 30, sorry, to still beat the game 50 times. But essentially, he ended up having an average time of like 27 minutes, an absolutely amazing showcase. Showed how dominant and good he is at the game. And got a, he got a ton of viewers on his Twitch stream as he was doing it, and everybody was. His tweet went pretty, po uh, pretty viral, I'd say, to an extent of like 5,000 likes or something, maybe more to this point. And people seem to be um, in awe of somebody being this good at the game. Now, some news outlets, and they seem to be doing this a lot. Um, I remember when I was doing my Breath of the Wild All Shrines with No Runes video, a ton of uh, platforms that write new gaming news like GameSpots, etc. And then even from different countries would write a story about it and it seemed like they would all like copy the same story from each other that this is something that seems to be happening a lot in this field um, i actually used to write gaming news in the past like a very long time ago in germany and even then it was pretty popular to look at like one big outlet and then write your own story based off of it so i guess this is just still how people do it but essentially the biggest one that wrote a news story about player 5 beating the game 50 times in, in a day was ign now, my personal opinion of IGN is actually a little bit tainted. I feel like their reviews in the past have been basically useless. I feel like all of the games are rated way too highly. I don't even know why there's a scale out of 10. If even the worst games get like a 6, that's like the worst score you can possibly get. Uh, from my experience in looking at IGN reviews. But uh, that being said, 
one thing that particularly stood out to me in the past is that a lot of their reader base or fan base, I don't know if you can even call it that, seems to be pretty anti-speedrun. They don't seem to be big speedrunning supporters, especially when it's about using glitches. Um, and what I find odd is that a lot of people, I, let me, I'll explain this a little bit further, seem to be having issues with playing a lot of video games in the first place. And as soon as you play too many video games, you are a virgin and you have to touch more grass. This is obviously a classic. You see this in many different communities. Now, uh, IGN posted this new story about Player 5 completing the game 50 times in 24 hours, even with some air. Um, and what I was a little bit annoyed about is that they didn't... That, that's all they said. They didn't essentially um, say something else like this is a very this is a very uh, good achievement. This is a very skilled player. They just said it like this, almost like baiting their community just to interact with it by being like, oh wow, this guy has no life. And what happens? That happens. A bunch of people they're basically saying the same thing. Yeah, that this guy has no life. Um, this is not an achievement at all. I bet he was using glitches, blah, blah, blah. Essentially, people in the comments were being absolutely awful. Now, let me be clear. I am okay with you if you have issues with using glitches in speedruns. If you think using glitches in speedruns is not valid, it's cheating. I disagree with you, but that's, in my opinion, fine for you to do. We don't have to agree. But attacking somebody that clearly puts in a bunch of work and a bunch of dedication into something because you are likely insecure with things that have nothing to do with the topic is awful if if i see anyone in this comment in this comment section agreeing with these people and calling player five a virgin which has absolutely nothing to do with uh playing video games fast regardless of using glitches or not um you are just the scum of the earth I am just extremely, extremely mad when I see these sort of comments being made. Uh, and, and then I look at these people's profile pictures, and not to be too rude, you know, I don't want to fight fire with fire. But let me just put it in the most mild way. A lot of these people don't look like the biggest shots out there either. I would be surprised if they are slaying infinite pussy, like they like to say in these posts. No, no offense, you know, I'm not trying to be mean like they are, but uh, you know, I think with, with these sort of comments, most of the time uh, you can tell um, if people are just insecure and want to get mad because they want to get mad. Essentially, this is just a public service announcement. Don't be that guy. And when I say that guy, I mean all of the people in the IGN comment section. And even if you disagree uh, with me and thinking that player five is an incredibly skilled player and great to have in the community and that what he did by beating the game 50 times is an incredible achievement and a good showcase of skill if you don't agree with this that's fine but don't be a dick about it keep it to yourself and don't attack him for things that have nothing to do with this the especially that have, that have nothing to do with speed running in general like having no life like let the guy do whatever he wants i know for a fact that player 5 is also going to college which is already astonishing that he's able to go to college and still stream and and make videos and perform at such a high level so it, all of these people don't even know that but it doesn't matter essentially don't be a dick um have your own opinion about glitches and speed running that's all fine but uh, that was just my public service announcement. I actually did uh, make an, my own tweet about this situation that I will link in the comment section below. Um, usually I tend to not really advertise my Twitter as much anymore. I personally deleted Twitter from my, um, my phone because I feel like I waste too much time on that platform. It's kind of doomed in general. But you know what? As a content creator, it's kind of inevitable to use the platform a little bit because of how many people are actually active on it, especially in the same field that I'm in so sometimes it's also usually when Nintendo like posts their direct announcement so it, it, it's kind of important for uh, I feel like people in the gaming sphere to use so I do use it and if you already use it I'm not trying to get you into Twitter because honestly I would feel bad if I did I don't think it's worth it um, but if you already use it uh, I can I would okay sorry by the way for all of these failed wind bombs I always explain this right uh, without the compass they are a lot harder to do but you know Gives me more time to talk. But also remind me in the comments, by the way, that would be great. If you want to comment today, remind me so I can read it tomorrow that I need to get food. Say like, Lim, you need to get food. Um, so tomorrow I get more food because I'm kind of running out. I'm really close to Monster Tori, so this actually works out perfectly. Anyway, 
Um, the point I was making is I'm going to be linking my tweet about the situation in the comment section below if you want to follow me. I don't tweet a lot, but when I do, I think it's usually a banger. I'm pretty sure everyone says this, but uh, yeah. That's pretty much all for today. Last but not least, um, just because I already talked about already having the DLC uninstalled on my file, the speedrun that I'm going to be doing. Uh, next is going to be all quests. It's something that I kind of fell in love in while watching speedruns while I was sick. I was watching ITNT Piston a lot. And that, that particular speedrun all quests is a really cool run that showcases a bunch of the game without using too many glitches. Not that I'm against using glitches because as you guys know, I do like using glitches. I think they make the game fun for me. But they cut out a lot of the annoying glitches that are technically hard to do or inconsistent, which is even worse. Like. <coughs> a glitch that isn't 100% consistent just annoys you as a speedrunner when you're trying to go as fast as possible. But anyway, that's my topic for the day. I'm gonna be getting the shrine location and check my daily percentage count. 52.5. We actually made a lot of progress today. I kind of need to slow down. Thank you for listening to my IGN drama rant. and Thank you so much for watching again. I'll see you tomorrow for 109 days until Tears of the Kingdom. Peace.